Hello guys, welcome to Millionaire by 25. Hope you guys are doing great. Today on this video course, I will be taking you through way to go about YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video. The video course will start right after the intro. Welcome back. Like I said, I will be showing you different ways of going about YouTube. And on this lesson, we will be covering what are outsourceable channels, two personal brand channels, three hybrid channels, and examples of each. I will be giving you examples of each and uh, four the pros and cons of each, talking about outsourceable channels and personal brand channels. So hopefully, by the end of the lesson, I will be helping you narrow down which type of channel you're going to be running. Now first, let's look at the outsourceable channel. Uh, the outsourceable channel include list channels, talking about uh, top 10 videos, top 5 videos. I'm sure you've come across these type of channels on YouTube. And then we have animation channels. I'll show you an example of each right here. Now, some examples of outsourceable channels are top 5 scary stories, top 5 unsolved mysteries and the likes. We also have the bright sides and uh, these are fastest growing channels on YouTube. Some are amazingly fast growing and they upload things that are sure to get your attention. But the videos are outsourceable. Yes, they pay other people to give them content. That's what I mean by outsourceable. And I know this when uh, I say a channel that uploads 5 to 10 videos on their channel every day. Nobody can single-handedly do that unless they have others assisting them with content creation. And that's what we do on some of our channels. Another example of outsourceable channel is what I call the Mind Warehouse. Now, I got to know of this in a tutorial I stumbled on. They do similar videos like the top 5, top 10, but all their videos are very shocking. They use great thumbnails, great titles, and overall do a great job and they are killing it on YouTube. Another is a channel called My Story Animated. Uh, this channel takes in stories from kids and other people and uh, they animate it and obviously they pay people to do the animations for them. Now here are the pros and cons of running an outsourceable channel. One, it is scalable. This means you can pay other people to create content for you. Two, you don't necessarily have to show your face. Now, this is favorable to so many people who don't like to show their face or put their personality online. So it is an advantage. Some of the cons are one, it is harder to sell products. Yes, very hard to sell products on an outsourceable channel. And two, you mostly rely on ads revenue. This isn't enough to discourage you from creating a channel like this. I just only want to let you know of the pros and cons of setting up a channel like this. Now, here are some of the examples of personal brand channels. Now, this is when there is a personality behind the channel. Uh, example is Kino Body. This guy just makes workout videos for health and at the back end, uh, he sells courses. Now, so when you have a video where you have this person, just the one running the channel, he or she appears, same voice, same face, different topics. This you can call a personal brand channel. The third one is what I call the Live on Purpose TV. Now, these guys are clinical psychologists who make videos that help people with their everyday life challenges. And this gives him lead to his practice. Now, there are some persons who probably a medical doctor who would want to do one or two health tips on his channel. And as a result of that, there is a lead to his profession people would want to consult him outside his YouTube channel. So let's see the pros and cons of running a personal brand channel. One, more trust. People see your face to get to interact with you one-on-one. -on -one. Two, easier to sell products. And three, no way to monetize. So in this case, you can decide to sell a course. You can decide to um, as a doctor, talk about your surgery or if you have a drug that can actually cure something and people can patronize your product. Now, let's take a look at the cons. It's less scalable, meaning that you cannot have people make your video. You can only probably employ someone to do the editing of the video 
probably do the shooting for you, but you will have to sit and make the video. Let's look at the hybrid channel. Now, these are channels that don't feed in a specified category. They are a mix of outsourceable channels and personal brand channels. Example is a channel called Improvement Peel. This channel makes whiteboard videos, but same guy voices every video. He sometimes tells stories about his life and then he's also making videos on how I learned to love myself, videos like that. So self-help videos is what he does and why I call it the hybrid channel is because it's not really necessarily personal brand. It isn't actually an outsourceable channel. It's more outsourceable for the video creation but he has to do all the voice over because the channel is based around him. So if ever you find a YouTube channel that you think about cloning and making videos similar for yourself, always remember that it might not exactly fit with either personal brand channel or outsourceable channel. It might be what I like to call a hybrid channel. And there are so many very successful YouTube channels in every single category that I've mentioned here on this video course. So I hope this course helps you to choose a way to go about approaching a YouTube channel. In our upcoming lessons, we'll be taking a look at some of the best high CPM niches for outsourceable list channels. And I'll also give you a list of about 100 different profitable YouTube niches, plus examples of channels of many of these niches. And I hope that it will help you greatly. Thank you for staying to the end of the video course. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a new video. See you on the next video course.